What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Jedi Junkyard, the place where you can find the most scrap metal in the galaxy. I am here to tell you guys that this new episode of Bad Batch was absolutely insane, full of action packed entertainment and tons of storyline that I didn't see coming this early in the show. Now, unlike the last two videos or last two reviews on The Bad Batch, I'm actually gonna use my face cam and kinda just talk about it a little bit, so if you guys enjoy the type of video, leave a like and subscribe. Warning, spoiler warning, if you haven't seen Bad Batch episode four or any of them, go watch it, please. So at the beginning of the show, they decided to go to Pantora and Omega is, couldn't be more happier. She wants to explore the galaxy more and more and this is the only way to do so with The Bad Batch because she was on Kamino her whole life and it's time for her to, you know, explore a little bit. So they land down on the planet and they realize that they're on a wanted list, at least their ship anyway. The guy who's down there to scan their ship goes to scan it and Wrecker says, no, 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 you're not, you're not doing that. And so the guy wanted some incentive, so they gave him credits. I do also want to point out that the only reason they're really down there is because they need to make repairs to their ship, they need fuel, and they ran out of rations on the ship. That's the only reason they're landing right now. So it gets to a next scene, and this is where we are introduced to Fennec in the show. If you guys don't know Fennec from watching Mandalorian Season 2, you know that she is a badass, and people could not wait for her to show up in the Bad Batch. And she did not disappoint, let me tell you. So Hunter, Echo disguises a droid, and Omega go down to the town on the planet, and Admiral Rampart is giving the same speech about the chain code to basically everyone across the galaxy, and saying, you know, we have a new empire, Blah, 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 the same thing that we've seen before in the second episode, I believe. You also have everyone in the town clapping and is happy that the war is over and you have a bunch of clean troopers walking through, which I thought was kind of cool because they don't even know what they got this house into. While they're all in the town, again, Echo's disguised as a droid. They end up selling Echo. Hunter ends up selling Echo to one of the merchants down there for 3,000 credits. And the plan is, is that Hunter was going to use the credits to get food and supplies for just themselves on an ordinary day. Now, in the midst of all this, Omega sees this animal type thing and gets distracted by it and she's holding a toy in her hand. The animal grabs the toy out of her hand and Omega chases after it while Hunter and Echo are doing the deal. It switches over and you see Fennec pretty much down in the same area as them and she runs after Omega while Hunter and Echo are distracted. So Omega and Fennec actually meet up and Fennec is trying to like kinda care for her saying like, oh, let's let's find your friends. And uh, that was a mistake. So Fennec and Omega are walking and they actually steal, well, I should say Fennec steals two fruits that they are able to eat. And Fennec actually tells Omega that it's okay to steal sometimes, which is terrible parenting or terrible guidance. So Hunter runs up behind them as they're just casually walking and Hunter tells Omega to step away from Fennec. Now we're not introduced to her name yet at all on the show, but we obviously can tell that it's Fennec if you guys are, are have watched the Mandalorian season two, you would know that. But Hunter says, "Get away from her!" Fennec pulls her arm around Omega, and like helmet on, blaster, pops a couple shots. They get into a huge conflict. So Hunter goes throw a punch at Fennec, and they're they're fighting. Knives are going everywhere. Omega runs off after Hunter tells her to run. And this is actually a really cool moment. So Fennec and Hunter were both fighting. Hunter's like this. Fennec's trying to like stab him and Hunter has both of her arms the knife's coming closer to Hunter and he like pulls him away and then she just goes boom with with her helmet knocks out Hunter for a few seconds Fennec runs off trying to run after Omega and Hunter actually gets in contact with Heck and Wrecker saying that Omega is running away as she's running away from Fennec Tech is able to access the cameras across the entire city and sees that Omega drops down into the tunnel beneath the full place. Now, because you know Fennec is a notorious bounty hunter, she finds where Omega is and goes down in the same tunnel. Omega's running and running and running through these tunnels. She turns a corner and boom! She hits Wrecker and falls on the ground. Wrecker's super happy to see her and thinks that he has the job done. So they go, all right, let's go back to the ship. As they're walking out of the tunnel, Fennec turns up behind them and... Wrecker basically says to Omega again, run away, so that go back to the ship. And Fennec and Wrecker brawl it out for a miss of maybe 1.2 seconds after Fennec pretty much throws him into like this gas can thing and kind of explodes all over his face and he gets knocked out. 
There was a giant ladder going up to a basically tower in the city, and that's where Omega was going. And after Fennec knocked out Record, that's where she was going to. So Omega's climbing, climbing, climbing. Fennec's right behind her, climbing, climbing, climbing. Omega gets to the top and seals the door shut so Fennec can't get through, but it's just a small tower. Like one way step to go around it. It's kind of like the, the tower in Seattle, but very, very small. Fennec ends up trying to shoot the door open. It startles Omega. Omega starts hanging off the side of the tower and this is where things get very interesting. In the midst of all this, Hunter is trying to get to Omega and Tech actually calls out that she's hanging up the tower because he can see on the cameras. So Hunter grabs a speeder bike and charges towards the tower. Now this is my favorite part. Omega's gripping onto the tower. Fennec comes out of the door and grabs her as she's about to fall off and says, you'll thank me for that later. There's tons of cars going beneath them, and tons of tons of ships and they're just going like a highway, like super fast. Fennec goes to Omega and says, duck and roll. Drops her, she ends up landing in one of the cruisers. So both Fennec and Omega are in the cruise ship and Hunter is chasing right after them as fast as he can. As Hunter is chasing Omega and Fennec, Fennec decides to shoot back at Hunter with her blaster. Omega spots basically a lever on the side of the ship that will raise, like if you ever see a tow truck, how that raises. It kind of raises that up. So she hits it, pulls the lever, and the thing goes up and Fennec starts falling and falling, but Omega's falling at the same time. Fennec ends up falling onto another ship and she's kind of like dangling like Omega was in the tower. Since the bed of the ship was raised up because of Omega, Omega started sliding down and she's hanging off the ship too. Fennec ends up gaining control of her ship and goes pretty much right behind Hunter as Hunter goes to save Omega when she's like dangling off the ship. Fennec crashes into Hunter right before he can grab Omega and now it's Fennec chasing after Omega again. Right as Fennec is about to grab Omega, Hunter comes behind and shoots out her ship. Omega slips, is falling, and Hunter is able to grab her right before she pretty much dies. This is one of the coolest parts I've seen in Star Wars in a long time. So Fennec is kind of still chasing after Omega in the, sh in the ship, badly damaged. So what Hunter does in his speeder bike is hit the brakes, throw an explosive onto her, onto her ship and it actually explodes while Fennec jumps off onto the ground. So all in all, they were able to escape Fennec, but this doesn't mean that she's done. At the end of the show, it shows Fennec talking with somebody saying that they will, that she's gonna capture the Omega and take the bad batch out. So what, a, what an episode, I could not be happier with how it came out. Let me know what you guys thought about it down in the comments below. I'm gonna try to end up posting more to this channel um, over the week. I have a lot of stuff going on in my life right now that I kind of got to figure out. But I hope you did enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching another Jedi Junkyard video. And how did you think of the Bad Batch? Again, let me know down in the comments. Have a great day. May the Force be with you. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.